my name's Danielle and today I'm going to be bringing you my Booktubeathon wrap up. Okay, so I'm going to tell you all the things that I managed to accomplish this year during the Booktubeathon. This was my first year getting to participate all the way through the Booktubeathon and it did not disappoint. I had so much fun. I finally got to do daily updates and that was tough. It was tough. Let's be real. I learned some things. But I'm proud of everything that I managed to accomplish in this crazy week. Let's get to the books. The first book that I read during the Booktubeathon was When Dimple Met Rishi. First of all, if you don't know anything about this book, it's basically about these two kids that are starting college the next year, and they are both of Indian American descent. And they're both going to this web development camp where they're going to create an app, and it's kind of like a contest. And I really did enjoy that aspect. The male character is really okay with following the traditional traditions of his family and of his past. And the girl, not so much. She kind of wants to just be successful in what she wants to do. But they're both kind of sent to this camp to meet each other to hopefully get married in the future. So things don't go as planned. What I did like about this book is that it did cover a lot of different topics that I feel like a lot of books just try to stay away from. But it did so more in depth and I thought that was really interesting. It was definitely hyped, maybe a little overhyped for me because I was expecting so much from this book, but I still loved it. It was so cute. This took me a few days to read, but I'm very glad that I finished it because it fulfilled so many challenges. I think I got like five challenges out of the way. Person on the cover. Main character that's very different from you. A hyped book. A book you bought because of the cover. Actually four, it counts for four. This one knocked a lot out of the way. And how many pages was it? It's 380 pages. Cool. The next book I picked up during the Booktubeathon was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And this book completed the challenge for read a book in one day. And what I did for this book, I actually did end up reading it along with watching the movie. And that was probably the best decision I've ever made. That was the coolest thing. It was basically word for word. But what I did really like about this is that reading it along with the movie, even though I didn't really get to see the movie a lot, I've already seen it before, so it doesn't really matter. I saw and heard all the things that go in to making the movie other than the script. So like you're reading along with this and it's just words, but then you're getting so much more out of the visual aspect. The little ways that the characters deliver the lines are really interesting to see. And the music just brings it all together. It's amazing how much goes into making a film and you don't really realize it a lot. So I loved getting to do that. And if you haven't done it, I highly suggest doing this with any screenplay or anything like that. Like I've read scripts before, but I've never done it along with whatever the final product is and I thought that was the coolest thing. So anyway, this was, let's say, I mean they also have like glossary terms and stuff like that and I read that stuff too and then they have the cast and crew list and some other little things. So with all that, it's 293 pages. Doing good, doing good. Okay, the third book I picked up was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and this was probably my favorite read of the whole Booktubeathon. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should talk about this. I just assumed you knew what Fantastic Beasts was about. This book, if you don't know, is about these four people, but three of them are part of the Sinclair family, and their grandpa is rich, and he owns this private island by Martha's Vineyard, I think, and all of those families go to this private island every summer, and they have each their separate house on the island, and then the fourth one is just a friend of one of them. But anyway, they all hang out, they're all the same age. We follow one of the main characters, and she's just trying to figure out what happened one particular summer, but it's one of those books where you get to the end, and you have to go, I need to read it again. Again, but you have to go back because you want to see all the little things that clicked at the end. Anyway, this is probably my favorite read of the whole booktubeathon. I read it all outside and it really fit the story. And I also read it in one day, but that wasn't my goal. Like, I just so happened to. So this could also count for that challenge. But I read this book entirely outside and it was a nice day for reading outside. I thought I was going to hate this challenge a lot more than I did, but it was okay. This was only 225 pages, even though it did not feel like that. It felt so much longer. The last book or bind up of short stories that I read, I should say, was The Bane Chronicles. And I'm really glad I picked this one up when I did. I think everything kind of worked out for me in the Booktubeathon. It just so happened to work out. Like, I picked up right books for the right moods. It just happened. I didn't ever end up putting a book down, so that's nice. But I read four stories from this book, giving me a total of seven books. 
and seven challenges completed and that's never happened before and I'm very happy. Anyway, if you don't know anything about this book, it's basically just a bunch of short stories that were written by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson, but it's basically following Magnus Bain, who is from the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, and he is probably the funniest person I know. What was weird about this book is the fact that it was only him. I mean, there were other characters in the story, but each story changes and the same characters aren't in them. But he's a really funny person, and normally in the other stories, it's kind of just like a nice side note of hilariousness and just that kind of flirty fun attitude that Magnus Bane has. He's sassy and I loved it, but it was cool getting to see that be the focus of all of these stories. It feels a little bit different because there's not a whole lot of drama and with each story it's kind of its own little arc with its small period of time. I'm on the fifth story now, like I'm still reading it, but I'm wondering if it's supposed to all tie together or if they're all supposed to be completely separate. I mean I'm kind of seeing little things that connect with each story and I'm really liking it, but I'm wondering if there's supposed to be like an overarching plot that goes with each of the stories as a whole. If not, I mean, it's still really enjoyable. I really like it. It's very funny. Anyway, I read, I, I know it's to page 198 in this. I actually really liked these. They have like little comic strips in the books with each of the beginning of the stories and I thought that was really cool to see. So that gives me a total page count of 1,096 pages. Woo! Clap it up! Clap it up! Yes! That's great. This is really good for having a whole week where I still have other stuff going on. Highlight of this week? Probably the Rocket Summer Concert, let's be honest. I really did like making these video updates. I might change it up a little bit. I did try vlogging the last day, but that seems to take even more time because I have so much more footage to edit. I kind of just like doing these little updates, so I might continue that. But hopefully I can get them up before midnight by now on because I need to change my sleep schedule. That messed my whole sleep schedule up. Things I want to improve on, I want to be able to do the Instagram challenges and do more Twitter sprints because I really do like those too. I didn't even go on Instagram. There's no time to be in social media and read and do the updates and edit them and upload them and... It didn't, it didn't happen this year. Maybe I can do it next year. It's not supposed to be over. I'm having Booktubeathon withdrawals. So yeah, that's basically all I read during the Booktubeathon. Not too bad. I read, I did, it is, it isn't too bad. It's great. I read seven books and I did all seven challenges. I'm never gonna be able to live up to this moment, am I? We'll see for next year. Anyway, that's all I have for this video today and I will see you next week with a new one. Goodbye. But, I don't know. Three of them are part of this Sinclair family. But three of them are part of this Sinclair fam family. Why can't I say family? And it's kind of a mysterious book. It's kind of, and it's kind of a, and it's kind of a mysterious. Ah.